Hey, what's up, guys? We're at Jones Subwoofer Solutions doing another Amp Dino video. Today I have the DS18 Atom 1 Micro 1000 Watt Max amplifier. It says that it is a digital micro amplifier. And in the manual, it says power output at 1 ohm is 500 watts. It doesn't say 1000 watts in the manual. Power output at 2 ohms is 320 watts. Power output at 4 ohms is 180 watts. Looks like the other models in this line are bridgeable. This is mono amp, so it's not bridgeable. Uh, it did come with a gain knob, a bass knob. And this one has a clip indicator, which is nice. And the hookup for it is it's a phone jack on the knob side. And then it's a headphone jack on the amp side. First time I've seen that, but hey, if it works. I've got it hooked up today with 8 gauge. I did say in the manual for runs less than 15 feet to use 8 gauge for runs over 15 feet to use 4 gauge. Uh, I tried to use 4 gauge anyway, couldn't get it in there. Wouldn't fit right, so we just used the 8 gauge. Got a short run anyway, it's like 3 feet. So there we go, DS18 Atom 1 Micro, 1000 watts max. Uh, again rated in the manual, 500 watts at 1 ohm, 320 watts at 2 ohms, and 180 watts at 4 ohms. So we're all ready to run. Uh, one thing to note, uh, just like the last amp, I, I'm, I'm not familiar with DS18. I don't know anything about this amp. So I'm gonna run a two ohm, four ohm, and we'll, we'll do one ohm last, just in case, you know, it can't handle one ohm runs. So we'll see. Got it ready on my SMD81 amp dyno. We will start certified two ohms. And here we go. Starting at 14.97 volts. Five hundred one watts into two ohms, dropped to fourteen point eight volts. So that already did way more than rated. Uh, did the one ohm rating at two ohms. So things are looking good for this amp. Four ohms. If I remember right, that said uh, one hundred eighty watts. So four ohms starting at 15 volts. Certified, this goes all the way to 1% distortion. And we get, again, way more than it's rated. 333 watts into four ohms, dropping to 14.9 volts. Things are looking good for this amp. So I'm gonna move the meter for just a minute while we do our uncertified runs. And we'll do uncertified, starting at two ohms. And looks like we're starting at 14.97 volts. It goes all the way to clipping. These will usually be a little bit higher than uh, a certified run. And we get 493 watts at two ohms. So it didn't do any higher, but we did do pretty much the same. 493 watts into two ohms, dropped to 14.75 volts. And we'll go back, try a four ohm run. And we're starting at 15 volts. 
four ohms. Again, it was rated 180 watts. Still going 340 watts, 341 watts into four ohms, dropped to 14.87 volts. Now we'll check out the dynamic performance of this amp. Now dynamic depends a lot on the power supplies of the amp. Some will make more power on dynamic, some don't. So it's a 40 hertz burst track starting at 14.9 volts. All right, we got 496 watts into two ohms. We dropped to 14.7 volts. Similar to the other runs. Four ohms, we'll see if it does the same thing. Starting at 15 volts. Again, a dynamic run. Three hundred forty watts into four ohms, three hundred forty one watts into four ohms. We dropped to fourteen point eight volts. All right, now we'll do a one ohm dynamic run. Maybe we'll see our 1000 watts. If we're gonna see it, this is when we should see it. Starting at 14.9 volts. All right. I let it eat a little, so 690 watts dynamic at one ohm, dropping to 14.7 volts. We didn't see our thousand watts, and I don't think we will on certified, but uh, we'll go back and see what it'll do on one ohm certified. So far, you know, I'm still very impressed that 1,000 1,000 watt number, that max number, that's usually sales jargon. Usually doesn't doesn't do what the max number says. It is doing what it said in the manual and doing a, a lot more than that. So, all right, one ohm certified, starting at 14.93 volts. Oh, actually, I just remembered, we're gonna throw our clamp back up here. All right. All right, 667 watts into one ohm, dropped to 14.7 volts. Not bad, not bad. So it did its rated power and then some. And one more run for this amp, we will do uncertified one ohm. All right, starting at 14.9 volts. Uncertified again is all the way to clipping. Six hundred fifty-six watts into one ohm, dropped to fourteen point seven volts. So pretty impressive, guys. That amp again. I mean, this thing's tiny. That is tiny. And I got my hand on it, it's barely warm. That's normal operating temperature. So I'm pretty impressed with this. Let me know what you guys think. And stay tuned in just a minute. I'm gonna to try to open this up and we'll see what's inside.
And we're back guys. Got the back of the amp off. It was a little tricky. Had to take off both the end plates and then wiggle the thing loose, but we got it. So here is a closer look. There's a lot going on in there. A lot more than I expected. I thought all that weight was heat sink, but you can see they've packed a decent amount of amp in there. And I mean, it did, it did its rated power. It did what it said it was gonna do in the manual and then some. So I'm very impressed, especially for the size of it. Just a little thing, size of my hand. Uh, so closer look at the amp. We've got the RCA connection, which is a dongle. Uh, I didn't see any uh, high level inputs. It looks like it's just the, the RCA level, low level. Uh, show you this side first. So I threw the end caps back on there so you could see. Has a low pass filter from 50 to 250 Hertz. Has a bass boost that's fixed frequency, uh, zero to 18 dB. Subsonic filter is 10 Hertz to 50 Hertz. And then there's your gain knob. Uh, there's the plug for the uh, bass remote and the RCAs, like I mentioned. Then you get a protect power light. On the other side of it, we've got eight gauge speaker outputs, eight gauge power and ground inputs, and an oversized remote. Uh, again, Emmanuel said you could fit four gauge in there. I can't. I'm using a welding cable and I could only get the eight gauge in there. So that's it for the DS18 Atom 1 Micro. I'm impressed by it. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, I appreciate you. Please leave a comment, a recommendation, anything you guys want to see me dyno, any suggestions you have for the channel, I'm all ears. Uh, give me a like, a subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you guys next time.